Salam alaikum. All right, what's going on? Real quickly, I ain't gonna tarry too long. All right, I'm gonna talk about uh, Athens new Athens Genesis 2.0 um, Amtrak 50th anniversary P42 DC with sound. Uh, I had a buddy of mine who, um, you know, he kind of jumped on my case about it. You know what I'm saying about tsunami sound, which I have my reservations, okay, you know, between Tsunami as well as uh, ESU Lock Sound. And Tsunami, you know, we feel that Tsunami Sounds is better on EMD, whereas uh, the ESU Lock Sound is better for GE locomotives. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let you know. I already took everything out the box, so we're not gonna waste too much time with the unpackaging, cause I had to, I had to do some installations myself, especially, you know, that of the ground lights as well as, the, you know, the ladder lights in the back as well. Um, also, what's missing on this engine is the sanding brackets. Okay, other than that, it's an authentic engine. So let's go ahead and get on to get on with it. All right. <coughs> Of course, you know, you got your, uh, you know, your, your diesel manual guide and everything, you know, your, um, you know what I'm saying, your guides and everything, you know, we're not going to focus too much on it because a lot of y'all probably want to head and crack the box open. So, uh, let's take a look at this stuff, as you can see. Okay, now the engine is under Tsunami Sound. Okay, and again, you know, the thing about Tsunami Sound is it's got that echo. Y'all don't, don't, don't pay, pay, pay attention to that, uh, or that uh, sweet orange marmalade in the back of the bagel. All right, but let's focus on the engine. <laughs> engine 108, okay, you know what I'm saying? See through grills from the top, as well detailed. It's got the underbody carriages and everything. Again, I went on ahead and I installed, you know, my, uh, you know, ladder lights, you know what I'm saying, as well as, you know, the, you know, the ground lights and so ladder lights and everything and stuff. Now, why is this? Okay, when the cab is set forward of the trucks, okay, you know what I'm saying, it would mean the engine engineer would have to you know, twist his head all the way back to see the wheels moving. Okay, well, you know, at nighttime, as you can see here, you know what I'm saying? So you need to be able to go ahead and climb up on that engine. So, as you can see, the PTC details. So, uh, you know, real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some headlights. Okay, let me go ahead and give you some ditch lights. All right, let me just cut the sound off for the moment. Okay, uh, you gotta excuse me, you got some trains running in the back. All right, so let me just cut this back one right here. All right, now I do gotta say that, you know, the horns is loud and everything. And, uh, yeah, the engine has a cab interior, all right? Again, out of the box, didn't have no step lights, no rear ladder lights and everything. Didn't have that. Also, I changed, I went on ahead and I changed the uh, couplers, as you can see, if you focus in on I'm going to hit and I installed, you know what I'm saying, some protoscale type couplers. Okay, uh, you know, they're not KD. Okay, uh, these are custom made couplers. As well as, you know what I'm saying, a number five short shank. I'm going to change that. Okay, uh, the engine is very, very heavy. Okay, it's capable of pulling, you know, prototype uh, Amtrak cars. You know what I'm saying, a nice decent Amtrak set. Now, one thing that's special about this locomotive, okay, it is stationed up in Rensselaer, okay, that's its home base. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Now, again, with tsunami sound, okay, it's got that echoing sound. And inside the manual, okay, we'll tell you how to change the CVs for those who do operate. Uh, tracks just a little dirty. Also, if you're in push mode or you're just sitting back, they do have marker lights, as you can see. I do have to add a resistor um, so to try to dim that rear ladder light in the back and stuff, uh, but yeah. But if I'm going forward and stuff, Number board in the front does light up, so you got 108 in the front, okay. And uh, you know, the engine and stuff, man, it is uh, I'll go ahead and silence it for a minute. I'm going backwards, the motor's kind of quiet, the motor's really quiet, uh, but yeah. And the mode is very, very quiet. So, and again, overall, it's an impressive locomotive. Uh, I spent a decent amount of money. Okay, after taxes, I spent two hundred eighty-six dollars in Train World with taxes. You know what I'm saying, so uh, well, excuse me, after taxes, two hundred eighty-six dollars is what I spent. Okay, my money. So, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I didn't want to wait, you know, to go ahead and get it and get an ESU lock sound and stuff. So, uh, I could have sent it off to a friend of mine and stuff. I didn't do it. And, uh, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I'm impressed with the engine. Okay, you know, I'm not going to run it as often. You know what I'm saying? I have most of them because I basically model upstate. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, model upstate New York. And, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then this will run, this will pull a train. You know, maybe a Maple Leaf, maybe an Empire Service. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll have it pull. You know, even the Lakeshore Limited, because again, this locomotive is stationed out of uh, Rensselaer. Okay, and Rensselaer, for those out there who's traveled Amtrak in the Empire State, which is New York. Okay, you know, in uh, Rensselaer, going towards New York, you know, you change to a uh, dual mode locomotive, which hopefully somebody eventually will come out with the dual mode. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, they'll come out with a dual mode and stuff. And so, it does have cab chatter. It's got a lot of different functions and stuff, man. And Yeah, it has different functions and everything. Uh, a lot of, quite, a, quite a decent amount of functions and stuff. So, you know, I think that you'll be impressed with the, with the engine. When you get it, I'm, I, of course, I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, so if you, you know, for your 50th anniversary, you know what I'm saying, man, they, it's a, Amtrak's been around for some time now. So, you know, every now and then, you know, a lot of our passenger systems is celebrating, you know, decades of service. You know, so uh, I do have a lot of cars with it. Okay, I bought it the other day. 
So I didn't have time to go to the storage and stuff to go get the cars and stuff. But, uh, you know, eventually, you know what I'm saying, I'm show sure y'all on the layout. You know what I'm saying? It, with the car, I got a whole bunch of Rapido as well as Wallace Proto cars and stuff. I don't have Bachman cars and stuff because I don't know. I got a stick link for, you know what I'm saying, an undercarriage. I got spoiled. Anyway, okay, windshield wipers, again, you know, num let number boards, headlight, ditch lights, marker lights, I'm going in reverse, or if you're sitting still, uh, so, you know, you got your PTC cluster antennas, horns, uh, sure, the, again, the, uh, it's got undercarriage details, okay, it has, um, you know, all your pipes, you know, your electrical cabinet boxes and everything that come with it. Uh, now again, I installed my own lights at the bottom, okay, uh, for the ladders, so the way the engineer and the, you know what I'm saying, maintenance crews could go ahead and, you know, go through the back, whatever, okay, the, the, uh, <coughs> the printed on, you know, printed on, uh, warning signs and everything is legible in the magnification, uh, you know, all the signage and everything is, you know, on the magnification to see everything. Uh, shoot, the lines separating each other is, uh, quite crisp. Um, again, look, the locomotive is very heavy. It is very, very heavy. You know what I'm saying? If you was to put this with another engine, okay, uh, from, uh, Genesis, you know, you can handle, uh, you can handle a prototypical link uh, uh, auto train. So, I'm not going to tarry too long. Okay, uh, again, I don't have the equipment with me, you know what I'm saying, at this time. I didn't have time to go run and get the cars, but uh, I had some errands I had to do. But uh, yeah, and stuff like, subscribe, share, whatever, like it, bump it, dump it, ride it. Okay, uh, it's a worthy engine, it's a good investment. If you do model Amtrak, it's a fine time to model it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful day and stuff. All right. Uh, for the rear of the engine and stuff, I'm definitely change out the, uh, I'm gonna change out the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna change out the, uh, rear coupler. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I took off the uh took off the men McHenry couples, I took them off. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing against it. Okay, if you you know like it, that's good. But uh you know I, I just you know, I got spoiled. It is what it is. You know, so once again, let me show you one more time. Okay. You do have uh you know, your rear lights and stuff, you know, so, and also the marker lights, you know, being a rear, come on, but I tend to have cars in the back, so, you know, I'm not going to have that one like that, I'm saying, only like, you know what I'm saying, for sitting inside the station, you know what I'm saying, waiting for the next service, but, uh, that's it, it's a, it's a mighty fine locomotive, it is what it is, it's good. You know what I'm saying? I like it. You know what I'm saying? It's got cab chatter as well. So, uh, again, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going... If I want to park it inside the station or whatever, I could have the rear lights on. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the uh, tail lights, stuff, the markers or whatever and stuff. Or, you know what I'm saying? If I want to go ahead and, you know, just sit it off until the next assignment. You know, just have it on and so forth. Like, subscribe. Ain't gonna tell me too long, know what it is. Call Catch of Daniel Lucas. Peace out.